increasing the number of holes. Eh? So if you want to increase the number of holes, then we must use trivalent impurity or trivalent atoms. And uh, trivalence atoms are the atoms that have three valence electrons. Three valence electrons. Penta means five. Right? Just now penta, it has five valence electrons. Eh? Okay. But if you want to increase the hole, then you must use trivalent atoms or trivalent impurities. And it has only three valence electrons. Eh? And examples uh, of trivalence atoms are uh, aluminum, boron, or gallium. If you duped trivalence atoms, Trivalence atoms it has only three valence atoms, okay? Uh, so then it can only form three covalent bonds. Okay, it has only three atoms, so it will form three covalent bonds. Eh? And the fourth covalent bonds, because uh, these trivalence uh, atoms uh, is lack of one electron, okay? So it will leave a hole here because it has no, uh, not enough electrons. Okay, it has only three electrons, so it will only form three uh, three pairs of covalent bond. Eh? The last pair, okay, it will leave a hole here. It will leave a hole here. So one atoms create one hole, two atoms create two hole. Eh? So when you duped uh, trivalence atoms inside a semiconductor, then you will increase the number of holes. Each atoms will create one hole. Eh? So if you duped one million atoms inside, then you will get one million hole inside. And hole is a charge carrier. Hole is a charge carrier, so it can increase the conductivity. Eh? Both the electrons and hole are charge carrier, and both of them can increase the conductivity. So increase the electrons, it will increase the con conductivity. Increase hole also increase the conductivity. Eh? So that's how we increase the hole. So a trivalent atom, a trivalent atom. Eh? Okay, so there's a typo here. Atom is also called an acceptor because they can receive electrons. Eh? Okay, because each hole contributes, can accept a free electrons during the recombinations. Okay, recombination is when the electrons jump into the hole and the hole disappears. It's called the recombination, eh? if you still remember. So, the silicons eh, has been duped with trivalent impurity. Eh? It's called a P-type semiconductor because it contains a lot of hole, a lot of hole, and the hole carry positive charge. Eh? Okay, so therefore it's called a P type. P stands for positive. So it's a positive type semiconductor. Okay, so that's the difference between N type and P type. N type, there's a lot of free electrons because electron carry negative charge. P types has a lot of hole because hole carry positive charge. Okay. Okay, now let's see the uh, charge carrier in a P type semiconductor. So P type semiconductor, it has a lot of hole because uh, one impurity, one hole. One impurity, one hole, okay? So you see now we have two hole already. One hole, okay? Two hole, okay? Now sometimes electrons can jump out from the silicon and form another hole. Now we have three hole and one free electrons. Eh? Three hole, one free electrons, okay? So in this case, the majority carrier, majority carrier is the hole, eh? And the minority carrier is the free electrons. Just one free electron, but a lot of hole. So majority carrier, hole. Minority carrier, free electrons. In P-type semiconductor, okay? This may be asked in the exam. Eh? They will ask you, what's the majority charge carrier in P-type semiconductor and what's the minority charge carrier, okay? So that's about the minority and uh, majority charge carrier, okay? So... Uh, if you apply voltage, okay, uh, positive and negative plate, then the hole, okay, the hole will, will, will move to which side? The hole will move to right or left? Left. Hole will move to the left uh, because hole carry positive charge. Uh, it will move to the left, uh, okay? Uh, it does not move this way, actually. It, it, it move like what I show you, okay? The electrons here jump here, okay? Then the hole move here. Electrons here jump, then the hole will move here, okay? But anyway, the hole will move to the negative terminal, okay? And the free electrons will move to the positive terminal. You must know this, huh? this may be asked in the exam as well, okay? So P-type semiconductor, there's uh, also the flows of minority carriers. The free electrons inside the semiconductor flow from uh, right to left. And because there are so few of minority carriers, so they have almost no effects in these circuits. Eh? So the minority carriers usually it contributes a very, very little to the current. Summary. 
this table is very very important okay you must know this eh? uh for p-type semiconductor we dope in the materials uh, trivalence we dope in the trivalence uh atoms like aluminium boron or gallium you must remember this as well eh? aluminium boron or gallium you must remember this and for n-type semiconductor we dope in the pentavalence atom antimony phosphorus okay for p-type semiconductor the role of the duping material is the atom receiver okay atom receiver because it has a lot of hole and the hole receive electrons eh? so we call the atom receiver uh, for n-type semiconductor the role of the duping material is called the atom donor okay atom donor and for p-type semiconductor the majority charge carrier is the holes minority charge carrier is the free electrons and for n-type semiconductor is the other way around the majority charge carrier is the free electrons eh? okay n-type means a negative a negative means there's a lot of free electrons eh? so the majority charge carrier is the free electrons and the minority charge carrier is the holes okay